Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be building a progress bar in React from scratch. As you can see, you can just click on the progress and it's going to increase by a percent. And you can also click on the reset button to take it back to zero. Uh, any technical prerequisites for this video you're going to find in the description. And this is a very good tutorial for beginners or any others that might want to build a progress bar in React. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, I'm in the Visual Studio Code and I'm going to do npm create vid in order to create our template vid up. And then I'm going to choose the name, which is going to be the default. I'm going to choose React and JavaScript as our technologies. And then I can do npm install in order to install some dependencies that we're going to need. Right, and now I can do npm ram dev. So we can see our app is up and running. And I'm not going to need everything from this template app. So I'm going to delete some stuff, the assets and the app.css. And I'm also going to delete the CSS that, I'm, that I won't need for this. And then I go to app.jsx to delete all the code, basically, except the main div. Nice. And now I can uh, test that is working there. There you go. And then I can create my first component, which is going to be the progress bar .jsx. generate some template component uh, code. And uh, I can go back to the app to JSX in order to import this to the main uh, div. So yeah, nice. There you go. The progress bar is up and running. And then I can start uh, basically changing the uh, HTML inside uh, the progress bar component. And I'm going to put a class name first of a container. And then I'm going to create another div with the class name of progress bar. There you go. And then another div inside of that, which is going to have the class name of progress bar fill. Nice. And for now, I'm going to put some uh, text, but it's going to be the progress bar later on that you're going to see. And then I'm going to create uh, another one, another div with the class name of progress label. And then uh, inside, I'm going to put some uh, placeholder, basically percentage. And below that, I'm going to create a button, which is going to be the progress button. And I'm going to copy and paste this below in order to create also the reset button. So we have the very ugly <laughs> like user interface right now. So that's why I'm going to the index.css in order to create some beautiful uh, styling. And I'm going to copy paste basically the fonts and some very basic uh, H uh, CSS that we're going to be using uh, that is basically some margin and uh, flex box in order to centralize everything basically. And below that, I'm going to create the CSS for the container, main container class. Uh, it's going to basically have a width of 200 pixels. And I also want to have a margin uh, top of 200 pixels because uh, we want to it to be in the center so we can see a bit better. And then we can create progress bar, um, the CSS right here, and the width is going to be 100 pixels, it has some height of 30 pixels, and the border radius of 10 pixels. And also I want some background color of this uh, grayish color. And then I want to have some margin bottom of 10 pixels. Nice. So you can see the progress bar and I all can also delete this text, this placeholder text. So it doesn't, uh, so it's not in the way. There you go. Now it looks better. And I'm going to continue with uh, the next class, which is the progress bar fill. And here I'm going to have a height of 100%. 
and border radius of 10 pixels, uh, some background color of uh, this uh, hashtag 2ECC71, this screen, which means that our bar is filled in basically. And uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, I can go right here and continue with the tra transition because we're going to have like a transition effect of, you know, when it's being filled in, I want it to be like more like smoothed in. Uh, that's why I'm, we're going to use is out with half a second. And then I'm going to change the progress label class. And uh, basically here I want to have a margin top of 10 pixels, font size of 25 pixels, 24 pixels, and font weight of bold, color of this all fours. Oh wait, yes, there you go. Yeah, now it looks a bit better. And now I want to, I'm going to co copy paste the button CSS because yeah, it's not that important. But uh, yeah, now we can uh, go on and we can import some hooks, which we're going to be using in our uh, web, in the progress bar, it's going to be the use state hook. And I want to create a state variable that is going to be called the progress. It's basically going to be the number of the percent of the our progress. And in the start, it's going to be, of course, be at a 0%, so it's zero. And yeah, I can change this. I can remove the 50 right here and put the progress, nice. Then I'm going to have an on click. It's going to be handle button, uh, click, nice. I'm going to copy and paste it because I also want to have the handle button reset. And now I can create these uh, handlers, basically. The first one is going to be the const uh, handle button click. Nice. It's going to be equal to the arrow function. And uh, basically, if the progress is less than 100, then what I want you to do, I want you to set the progress to whatever the progress was, plus 20. Else, I mean, if you go above 100, there's no point to do anything because uh, 100 is the limit. And then I can do the handle reset click, which is equal to an arrow function, again, and I'm going to set the progress to zero. And uh, oops, there's a mistake right there. I need to name it handle button reset. There you go, nice. And uh, what I want to do next is I want to know the color of the, you know, depends on the color of what, uh, sorry, on the progress on what color you're going to see. So if it's less than 40%, I want it to be color of uh, this red kind of color. It means, basically it means that we're pretty low on percent. Else if the progress is less than 70, then I want you to change to this orange color, which you're going to see soon. And uh, finally, if, yeah, it's going to be green. If the other two are not, uh, if we're not, if we're above basically the 70%. There you go, nice. So now I need to put the styling in the progress bar. I want to have a width of this, I copy paste it because, yeah, <laughs> it's just uh, the quotes and dollar sign, curly brackets progress percent, and then background color, I want to have I want basically get use the get color to return the color that I'm 
I want. So there you go, it works. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.